Well, I just wanted to make an addition to the observations I've been making of this urethane rubber. Um, yesterday I noted that it was still a bit softer than I would prefer, but now we're uh, fully two days after original mixing and pouring, and this has firmed up to honestly exactly what I was hoping it would. So it takes a little bit of time, but uh, I'm going to try to demonstrate just how much more firm this is now. And you can see uh, it molded very precisely to the very smooth interior of the cup that I dumped it into. So it's uh, uh, quite precise. It's not crude whatsoever, even if my you know particular mold and and uh, encasement is here. But I'm going to try to demonstrate poking at it with a screwdriver and uh, let's see. Focus on that. There we go. So this is just a normal flat blade screwdriver. Nothing special there. But you remember yesterday. I could have easily pushed in, and I'm putting quite a bit of force behind this, and a very point, uh, very precise point. But uh, even after, immediately after doing that, this is returned to a very smooth surface, and very minor indentation. And I don't have my wrench with me; otherwise, I would go ahead and wrench down on the nut like I did yesterday. But. Uh, I'll try to. I, I, I. <sighs> you can see the amount of force I'm putting on my finger here to get a minor indentation on the very edge. So I've got nothing. I'm just not having any luck deforming this urethane rubber. So, so far I'm very pleased with it. Uh, again, I would recommend not shaking the bottle like I did. I've got a million little air bubbles that are nasty. And I'm going to try out some different colors. I don't know what I'd prefer. Um, but I am very pleased. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that the hex head on these bolts holding this in are unable to rotate. And as a matter of fact, this bolt I did not seal the bottom of the threads and some of the urethane rubber wicked up into the threads. So just a note to uh, seal off, you can see some of the gunk a little bit there. Um, seal off the bottom of the block, probably just some tape would be sufficient. But uh, there's my observations on day two. I'm going to see about burning it, see what it does when it, in extreme heat, see if it gets more pliable after I put it in the oven for a little bit. i got a little toaster oven I'll throw it into. So, there you go.